In this video, we're going to look at the Spotlight Search on the iPhone. If you're running an iPhone with iOS 13, what I'm going to show you in this video applies. A lot of people that I know who have iPhones, they don't have a clue about the Spotlight Search. They don't use it. They don't know how it can save them time. Uh, they don't know how to turn it off if they don't want it. And we're going to explore that in this video. First of all, there are two basic ways to get to the Spotlight Search. From your main menu, meaning your home screen menu, if you scroll to the right, you will get the Spotlight Search. And if you're looking at it right now, you can see at the top it says Search. And then it has what's up next. That's my calendar. Um, it has some Siri app suggestions, which we're going to talk about that in a little bit. News, the QR reader, it shows me some weather, map destinations, another calendar, it shows me stocks, it shows me what my current battery percentage is, and then podcasts, etc., Cortana at the bottom, screen time, all kinds of things that I can do on that. That's the first way I can get to it. I'm going to cancel that out for right now. And I'm going to go back from any menu. I can get to an abbreviated spotlight search. If I just go to the middle of the screen and scroll down, I get an abbreviated version. I can still use the search at the top. It gives me series suggestions and then some other things. I'm going to cancel that out right now. Now, you might be asking yourself, why would you want to use this? All right, let's look at my menu. I have a ton of apps here, a ton of them. And sometimes when I'm looking for an app, especially if I'm in a hurry, uh, maybe I'm out somewhere in the vehicle and I'm trying to find something, um, you know, and I'm pulled off to the side of the road, um, I'm in a hurry, and I can't find what I'm looking for. Look at all these folders on my first menu. These folders contain apps. So what I can do is I'm going to scroll to the right and get to my spotlight search. So I'm going to go up and search Disney. And you see when I do that, it shows me under applications that I have two applications that have something to do with Disney. Disney Plus, which is Disney streaming service, and Disney World, which we're not too far from Disney World, about two hours. If that's what I was looking for, I can click, let's say, Disney Plus. Maybe I'm going to watch something on the phone from uh, my Disney streaming service. All right, so that's how I got there very quickly. Instead of me having to scroll through all these menus and try to find the Disney icon. Okay, see how fast that was? And the same thing, I can go from any menu and I could scroll down from the middle. And again, there's my Disney and I could click on whichever Disney I wanted. That's a reason to use the Spotlight Search. If you have so many apps on your phone that sometimes just finding the app you want is a pain, the Spotlight Search is a pretty easy way to do it. Now, also, if I scroll to the right for the Spotlight Search, again, if I wasn't searching for anything, there are other things that I could find. Maybe I do. I want to get a quick look at the stock market. Um, and I can take a look and see what's going on currently. Or in this case, the stock market is closed at the time I'm making this video. But I can see what happened at the last time it was open. Uh, there's different things that I can do here. I can see the weather very quickly. I can take a very quick look at the news, etc. That's a reason to use the full Spotlight Search. So when I pull down from a menu and get the brief Spotlight Search, you can see that it's not as full. It gives me some series suggestions for what app I might want to use next, maybe based on what app I used a little while ago. It might also give me some suggestions, like here it says, I should view my album Recents in photos. Send a message to Joy Scrub, that's my wife. Uh, see what's happening on Twitter. Those are suggestions that Siri is giving to me. 
If you find that a little weird, I'm going to show you how you can eliminate that in general and in particular. Here's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to go to Settings. And under Settings, I'm going to find Siri and Search and click on that. Under Siri Suggestions, you will see that I have three options. I can turn off Suggestions in Search. I can turn off Suggestions in Lookup and in the Lock Screen. If I do that, if I turn those off, so if I turn off Suggestions in Search, there will no longer be any Siri suggestions when I do a search, like I just said a little while ago. However, that eliminates all suggestions. I'm not really sure I want to do that, so I'm going to leave that on. And another option is to scroll farther down, and this shows my apps that interact with Siri. And what I could do is I could eliminate individual apps so that Siri does not suggest for me. For instance, I could go here and let's look at contacts. If I click on that, you see it says show Siri suggestions for contacts. That's on. I could turn that off. Or I could turn it off just in search. Um, I could turn off shortcuts. And I already have it turned off for the lock screen. But I can do individual apps in here. So I don't have to turn everything off. I can just eliminate Siri getting suggestions for a particular app based on what I do here. Now you can see if you have a lot of apps like I do, that could be a little time consuming. But if you sit down and do it and get through it the first time, then you only have to deal with the new apps that you put on your phone. So that's a way you can control the suggestions when you do a search, either by scrolling to the right or by doing the brief search when you scroll down. That's it for this video. If you like this video, why not subscribe to our channel? Just click the subscribe button below and look for more great content in the near future.